Hi, I'm Philip from the HANA Academy. In this series of videos we're looking at the External Machine Learning Library which was introduced with HANA 2 SPS 02. In this video we're going to look at the TensorFlow side of things. We're going to build and train a model using TensorFlow. We're then going to serve that model using TensorFlow Serving so that we can actually access it. We can call it to do scoring from HANA using the external machine learning library. So what I'm going to show here is, is not specific to HANA or to SCP. This is just standard uh, TensorFlow stuff. In fact, we're going to use the example that's pretty much the one everyone uses when they work with TensorFlow or, or modern machine learning uh, libraries. So it should be already familiar to you and hopefully make it easier for you to get familiar with the HANA aspects. So if we go to getting started, uh, you go to tensorflow.org if you want to get started with TensorFlow. Uh, you've got lots of great information here, including documentation on the uh, MNIST uh, uh, example, which is kind of the hello world that people typically use with uh, machine learning toolkits. So that's the example we're going to use. You get some good explanation around what this scenario covers, basically about uh, handwriting uh, recognition. You've got digits from 0 to 9 that are handwritten. We're going to, we, to build a model where we actually have the images, uh, the PNG, effectively just a big array of uh, numbers of the pixels, all the pixels in each image. We're going to use that hand with data where we already know what number it is that the person has written. Then once we've trained that, we can, of course, do validation and testing. But then later with HANA, we can come and do scoring where we'll give it an image similar like this where someone has handwritten a number and we will have the model give us back its best estimation of what uh, digit that would be from 0 to 9. That's the scenario we're going to cover. All the data is standardly available with TensorFlow. So nothing specific uh, uh, to HANA at this point or SAP. Now in terms of how you want to work with TensorFlow Serving then you would use the Deploy option and then get to TensorFlow Serving. Again, you'll need to have TensorFlow Serving installed and set up. All the information for that is available here on the TensorFlow uh, main site. But there's a basic tutorial, and we're going to cover several of the steps from this tutorial actually in uh, uh, the next few moments. So we're going to go ahead and actually build our model using uh, TensorFlow Serving uh, in this way. Now, TensorFlow typically uses Python, so you probably want to be familiar, if you're not already, with uh, Python, because that's how we're going to be calling out the TensorFlow functions, which are very often actually written in C++, but that's, that's a detail, and that's not relevant to how we're going to work with it from HANA, because HANA will access it through the external machine learning library from SQL script inside of HANA. Okay, now... How are we going to access the server? Well, I've got a TensorFlow server environment set up. It's actually my HANA machine. You can do that if you're doing development or, or playing around or a, a sandbox just learning. Obviously, for production, you must have TensorFlow serving and TensorFlow on a separate physical machine from HANA. You cannot have it on the same machine as HANA. It's the same uh, uh, scenario as if you're working with RServe when you want to access an R. Uh, environment. It cannot be on the same machine as HANA when you want to work in production. That's not supported by SAP. So let's go uh, to uh, Putty because I've got access to my HANA machine here. Now I've got TensorFlow installed, Python, TensorFlow serving, all installed and configured. Again, you'll find all the information on that in the tensorflow.org uh, uh, website. Now I'll just check where I am. I'm actually in a folder called TF serving, which I've set up, and there's a folder in there called serving. Basically, when you've installed TensorFlow Serving, that is the folder that you're going to have. And if I have a look at what's in there, you'll find I have a TensorFlow underscore Serving uh, folder, etc., and some other things uh, in there. So that's how it should look if you've got TensorFlow uh, Serving actually up and running. Now, what we're going to do is follow this tutorial with one slight change. Um, we're basically going to train and export a TensorFlow model. And then we're going to actually prepare that and serve it using the TensorFlow uh, model server. And, and then we're going to use HANA in a subsequent video as our client to actually access that model that we're serving. Now, the one little change we're going to make is just to the signature. Uh, we're going to just change the, the signature we want to use is the default because there is a, a, a small limitation in HANA at this point. So it should be resolved in the near future. 
um, that, that means we can only really work with the uh, default signature. However, the, the scoring signature is not the default when we work with this uh, uh, standard example. So we're going to make a small change to that first. So to do that, what we need to do is find the uh, code. And for that, we'll change directory into TensorFlow Serving. And then we should have a folder called um, Example. So we'll change directory into example and then you should find that we have a file which is the um, mnist underscore saved underscore model dot py now what I'm going to do is edit that so I'm going to use vi of course you can do this any way you want it's your server however you want to actually set that up but if we look in here we'll see that at the end of the code which is a python script we've got the signatures of exactly what it is we're serving. We've got a signature called predict underscore images, which is the one for the uh, the actual scoring we're going to do. And then there's another one uh, for classifications, which is using the default key. So all I'm going to do here is just swap these uh, around so that the default is in fact the predict images and we'll give another name to the classification signature. So let me just go in and make that change. I'm going to copy this line of code here and I'm going to paste it up here and then I'm going to just get rid of the predict images part okay so now the default key is there and this one instead of default key I'm going to give it a name I probably call it in single quotes classify whatever give it whatever name you want it to have. So we've now got the default one is the uh, the prediction and classify is the one for doing classifications. So that's pretty good. I can now uh, save that. Okay, of course you can uh, verify, you can use any text editor you like to make that change. Now I'll just change back to the folder I was in at the beginning. So make sure we're back into our main uh, folder with TensorFlow Serving. And we're ready to go and get the script that's actually in this uh, tutorial. So you'll find that the script is down here. Uh, and to make it a bit easier, because there's a lot in this tutorial, I've actually also got uh, a copy of this uh, the same script available in GitHub. So if you go to GitHub HANA Academy, the EML repository, then for this video in the code snippets folder, so train and serve model in TensorFlow, you can see that we've got basically the same thing. So I'm going to first build my model. So I'm going to choose that one and I will uh, paste it in and we'll let that run. That will take a few seconds to actually build the model. Okay, that was pretty good. Now we want to go ahead and actually do some training on our model. So for that one, we'll use the next statement. Again, I'm going to copy and paste that into my session and we'll start the training process. And that should just take a few seconds to do the training and we get some information about the training accuracy 0.88 so it's not really great uh, quality of a model we've created but for the purposes of showing the the nuts and bolts of how you make HANA work together with uh, TensorFlow serving actually it's more than good enough for us so we've actually trained a model and we've exported that model uh, and again just to, to keep emphasizing what we're doing here is exactly what's in this tutorial now, if you want, we could actually go and look at what's in the export directory. So I can copy and paste that over. We can see that we've got a folder called one. And if I have a look at number one, we've got our saved and school model.pb file. That's our saved model. And we've got a variables folder uh, with various bits of things in there as well. But basically this path is a path to a model that now we want to actually go ahead and serve. Now we'll just go back again uh, and Something that's not shown in the tutorial, but it's very important when we're working with HANA, is that we want to be able to use the uh, Save Model Command Line Interface, or CLI, so that we can show the uh, signature of our uh, model, because that's very important with HANA in terms of how we're going to call the inputs and output uh, structures. In HANA, they're tables. We're going to be working with tables in and tables out. In TensorFlow, we're talking about tensors. So there's obviously going to be some translation happening between the the scenes there that's something that HANA and the EML is doing for you but we're going to need to know what structure how we're going to be able to call our model 
So if I just paste in that uh, command using the save model CLI, that's something that became available with version 1.2 of TensorFlow. So I'd highly advise that you're using 1.2. Now, if we run that, we get the save model. What we should see is that we get uh, information on our model. We've got one called classify. That's correct. That's the one we're not going to use. We've got another one here saying the signature is serving underscore default. That means it's the default model and that's the one we're going to want to use. We've got input images, which is basically got uh, um, information which is using uh, float. So this in HANA terms would be float or double uh, type. And we're going to have a, an unlimited number of rows and um, with 784 columns. And it's actually each column relates to each pixel that we would have in an image. Uh, if you've got a 28 times 28 um, uh, pixel image, that actually is 784 individual pixels. And we can just strip them all out and put them into a, a one long array. That's what this model is expecting us to do. And for the results, for the scores we get back, we've got an output called scores. This time it's also a float. Um, so we've got dt uh, underscore float. That will translate to float or double in HANA. And the shape is at any number of rows with uh, actually um, uh, 10 columns. So, so that's something very important because that will give you the information of what it is you're actually going to be looking at. The next step is we need to serve this. So if we go back to the tutorial, we've got serving the model. Again, you'll find it down here. It's actually uh, here, how we load and uh, serve our model. So I'm going to take it from here just to show that it really is from the tutorial. So I'll copy that and I'll paste. So we're going to build so we can actually start to serve the model. So the model has now been uh, set up correctly. The final thing is actually to start our server uh, and again if we go back to tutorial we've got here uh, the basil bin we've done our build we now need to start it we're going to say which model we're going to serve and we need to say which port we're going to actually make this available on uh, because it's an http access using actual grpc calls in fact and we need to specify the name of the model so mnist and the base path that is actually the path we uh, used just now when we were actually building the model using TensorFlow. So let's go ahead and start that serving. You should see it takes a few seconds and then it says basically running model server. In this case I'm running it uh, on my uh, HANA server on port 9000. Of course it's up to you to set the server and port uh, in your landscape. So we've now done what's needed to actually build a TensorFlow model and to have it available through TensorFlow serving. Um, now we're ready to actually start working on the HANA side with the uh, external machine learning library in terms of how we can access that model that's being served on a given TensorFlow serving server. So what we've seen in this video is how we can set up all of the TensorFlow sides. We've got built a model, we made a small tweak to the model to get to use the default um, uh, signature that will be used for scoring. And we've also uh, done the build and actually started the process of serving that model on port 9000 of my HANA server. So in the next video, we'll actually start from the HANA side to access this running TensorFlow serving environment. You can find more HANA video tutorials on our YouTube channel. If you'd like to be informed as soon as new video tutorials are published, please subscribe to the channel. You can also connect with us on LinkedIn, follow us on Twitter, and we have pages on Facebook and Google+. Code snippets for all of our tutorials are published to GitHub. Thanks for watching.